Hello, I am Paul Brody, and I thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help others get published with a proven system that works. Now, over the next two weeks, what I want to do is go a little bit deeper into the process of getting published. And this week, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to run your book like a business. And through that, we're also going to talk about back end offers because those are the type of things that are going to really make the biggest change in regards to running your book like a business because it is going to be where you will make the most revenue. This is another reason why you want to funnel traffic to move traffic from Amazon by building your audience through your list. So those people that actually download your book, you can get their contact information by giving them something of value, whether that's an audiobook, a checklist, a guide, a free preview of another book, or even giving away a free book. Because this can be your primary source of revenue that will lead you to financial freedom. Now, the different ways that you are going to funnel traffic are going to be the three sources from the front end of your book. So with Kindle, it's going to be Amazon. With paperback, it's going to be Amazon and CreateSpace. And with audiobook, it's going to be with Amazon and also with Audible. So you want to funnel that traffic to your list. And you do that by giving away something of value so the reader signs up to your list. To build your list, one of the best services is MailChimp. So if you're starting your list with under 2,000 readers, that is a great way to start because it is free for your first 2,000 readers on your list. And their deliverable rate is great. It's typically over 99%. There are other companies you can use like Aweber or Infusionsoft. Another company that I use is Drip because they have what's called an autoresponder. And what that is, is when someone does sign up for your list, you can actually send them a series of email messages automatically. So it's a really nice way to start to build a relationship with your reader. But for those of you starting out, I highly recommend just going the MailChimp route. It's free up to your first 2,000 readers. Now with MailChimp, it is one of the oldest services that is around, but it's also one of the most consistent. And that is why I'm a big fan of using MailChimp. Now, another thing I want to talk about are some of the different ways that you can make your money on the back end. So if you've heard my story, one of the ways that I started to build my business was by public speaking. And this is what I suggest you do. When you have your book out, what you want to do is offer to speak at conferences and research upcoming events, especially local. You probably won't even need to travel that much and reach out to those event planners. Now, what's the easiest way to do that? Google. Just do simple Google searches, find out about upcoming conferences and specifically in your area. So with me, I'm in Arlington, it's right between Dallas and Fort Worth. We're a very large media market. So for me, I could just type in conferences or leadership conferences or even college conferences. And those are some of the different things that I'll do to find out what's going on. And typically I can find the event planner's information. Now what you want to do is you want to offer to speak for free as long as the event planner will let you offer your services at the end of the seminar. And what I suggest is you reach out to the event planner. They say, great, we want to book you. Awesome. This is what you need to do. You need to have a sign-in sheet at the seminar and offer something of value. You could give them a free audiobook as an incentive to sign in, and you could probably use that to get everyone there to sign in for your list. And with the list, you want to make sure that you've got their name, their email address, and where they're located. And if you want to, you can also attempt to get a phone number if you want to go that route. But I've found email is typically the best way. Now, this is what I do. So I will give everyone a free audiobook. 
just for signing in. Now, when I get to about two thirds way through my seminar, what I'll typically ask is, hey, just want to see if you bring speakers to your company or if you bring them to your campus. What I'd like to do is have you guys come see me at the end of the seminar. What I'd like for you to do is just fill out a real quick intent form. And then what I'd like to do as a thank you is give you a paperback version of our seminar today. So for example, if I'm doing Motivation 101 or Pursuit of Happiness, I will give them that book. And then what I'll tell them is, hey, come see me. I'd also like to autograph it for you. And if you want to take a picture together, great. That also helps with social media, with getting, uh, getting a little more viral. So you have pictures out on Facebook and Instagram and those different types of social media outlets. Because you always want to get as much promotion as possible. So this is a great way to get additional leads by speaking for free. And think about it. If you give away a book that's probably going to cost you maybe 2 to $3. Because through CreateSpace, you can buy paperback copies of your book. So why not get 100 copies? That's typically what I do for every book. I have 100 copies minimum of each book. Sometimes it's more dependent on which seminars that I give. So with Motivation 101, I actually have around 200 of those books available because I give that session quite often. So that is what I suggest you do. Buy them in bulk. They're usually gonna cost you about 250, maybe $300 tops for 100 of them, but think about it. If you get one company or one college to bring you in, that is typically gonna make you depending on how much you charge, at least two to three thousand dollars. My fee is three thousand. So just think about that investment. You're spending a couple dollars for a book, but you could potentially make up to three thousand dollars by giving away that one book to a prospective university or to a company that would be interested in bringing you in. Now another method is online courses. Now one question I do get asked often is, what about Udemy or Teachable? Now, those courses, those different um, websites and companies are great to use. I don't because I like to control my content. With Udemy and with Teachable, you have to follow their format where your modules could only be a few minutes each. So it's essentially created for you to have maybe 50 or 60 short modules. Now, their reviews, if that's the way they want you want to go with it, that's fine. Personally, I want to have full control over my programming. So this is what I suggest instead. Purchase a business account on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O.com, where you can upload up to five gigs of data per week. It's more than what you need. This is going to cost you around $60 per year with a Vimeo account. And they do have some different business accounts where it can be a little bit more. But with that, you will be able to store a lot more data in regards to your course. What I also suggest is buy the debut video capture software. It costs around $25 for a license. You can look it up on Google. It's just debut video capture software. And it's really easy to use. As long as you have a mic, you can hook it in and then just create a slideshow. And what you want to do is break everything down typically into around 10 modules. So it's just like a book. Think of 10 talking points. In fact, you could actually use your book and you can expand more into each of those different talking points if you wanna create your own online course. With a microphone, what I suggest is to use the ATR 2100 mic. You can actually type that in Amazon and you can find it really easily. The process is much easier than you think. I always suggest around 10 video modules. You can create PowerPoint slides. You can use the recordings. It's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. And for those of you that are starting to go down this path, feel free to contact me. You can go to getpublicsystem.com. My contact information is there. If you're stuck or if you have questions, just let me know. And there's no catch with that. I'm just happy to answer any questions that you have. Now, with coaching, you do need to decide what you want to coach. And that's really important because the riches are in the niches. Or in the niches, if you want to say it that way. That is where you really need to figure out what you want to do. So with me, it wasn't life coaching. 
it was book publishing because I found for me that was the best fit. You need to figure out what is going to be the best fit for you. And this is with your online coaching. This is with your one-on-one coaching. This is with your group coaching. With group coaching, that is where you can connect your online course to it. And what I do with my book publishing implementation program is we have the 10 different modules where we take a deep dive and cover every single thing from the book title to the book cover to our entire marketing system. It's the same system that has taken all 13 of my books to a number one bestseller and also all my clients. So it's all our knowledge. And then we share that over 10 modules. What I also suggest is that you do live group coaching calls every two weeks with your clients. Group coaching, in my view, is the best way to grow your business and more importantly, to be able to scale your business. Because whether you have five clients or 500, if you already have the course, the main work that you're doing is sending out the modules every week, which you can easily automate or have an assistant do for you. Then the main thing is every other week, you are showing up on a live group coaching call with your clients. And what I do is as a bonus for joining my program right now, what I do is I give them an additional bonus of live group coaching calls with me for the next year. So they have the 10 modules over 10 weeks, but then they have access to me over the next year where I can help them get really clear on where they want to go in their author journey. So think about what you want to do with coaching, whether you want to do one-on-one coaching or whether you want to do group coaching, because that's one of the things that you do need to figure out is where do you want to go from here because without a plan it's going to be a lot tougher for you but having a plan having a solid plan for the future and i always suggest writing it down that is going to help you take things to the next level so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode and i look forward to our episode next week where we are actually going to go in a little different direction this week talked about the back-end offers. What I want to do next week is to take a much deeper dive in how you can actually create a course from your book. You've heard me talk about it briefly, but on next week's episode, we are going to take a much deeper dive. So I look forward to seeing y'all next week on the Get Published Podcast. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.